Well, the semantic web is about putting data on the web. Data on the web is maybe boring, uh, unless you're the sort of person who likes to get stuff into a spreadsheet. And if you like dealing, working with spreadsheets, then typically you want data in a form that you can load it into a spreadsheet. And it's no good if somebody gives you a printed document or even a web page. You print the web page off, but you don't have to key it all by hand. So we've got a move to put data on the web so people can actually process it and analyze it. And there's a really big push right now in a lot of countries, the UK and the US, uh, very particularly, to put government data on the web. So 2009 has been the year to push to get government data onto the web. It's been very exciting. The Obama administration is totally on board. There was data.gov. The uh, British Prime Minister specifically given the, the go-ahead, put a team together, lots of really exciting data sets accumulating day by day uh, in, in those countries. A lot of other countries also with other, uh, other initiatives, um, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and also a lot of excitement and interest uh, uh, in getting developing country governments to be open, transparent by putting data about what's happening in those countries onto the web because that'll make each country which is more transparent becomes more trustworthy, gives it more credible, easier to, to do business with, uh, easier to invest in.